In this video, I'll show you how to build and deploy your very first AI support agent using Chatbase. Whether you're a founder, product manager, or a support lead, by the end of this walkthrough, you'll have a custom AI agent ready to assist your customers 24 seven. The process is super fast and no coding is required. We'll use a mock startup for our example and go from uploading its FAQ document to having a live AI support agent on a website. Let's dive right in. First, log in to your Chatbase account. If you're new here and you don't have an account yet, then make sure to go to chatbase.co and sign up there. It only takes a minute. Once you're in your dashboard, click on the new AI agent button. And here you'll be presented with a few options on getting started with your AI agent. It all begins with training it on your data. To train your AI agent, we have a few options. You can either train it on files, you can train it on text. You can train it on your website data. You can train it on your manually crafted Q&A or you can train it on your Notion database. Now to train our AI agent, I'm gonna upload a few files with information on our company. I'm going to upload an FAQ document, a product guide document, as well as a research document on how the product was made. I just drag and drop them here and wait for them to load. Within a few seconds, you'll see the documents that you uploaded here. And here on the right, you'll see how many files have been uploaded. Now, I also want the agent to be trained on our website. So I'm gonna enter the link here and press fetch links. This way the agent will automatically crawl our website and get the most relevant link to use as its training data. Now for your own agent, feel free to use as many sources as you want. For example, if you have a good Q&A, you can fill in all of this information here. Or if you don't have any files and you just wanna upload raw text, you can do this in the text tab. The more data you provide to your agent, the better it will be trained on your company and the better the replies will be to your customers. However, for our case, I made sure that PDFs that I uploaded are very highly detailed. The FAQ document has all possible questions the users might ask. The product guide includes all information about the product, including a detailed guide on how to troubleshoot anything. And the research paper document includes any kinds of questions that the users might have about the product and how it was created, as well as how it's different from anything else. But don't feel pressured to upload everything at once, because if you feel like you're missing anything or you wanna add any new data, you can always come back to this tab later. However, once you're ready with uploading all of your documents, you can click on create agent. Once you press the button, the training will begin and it might take a few minutes, depending on how many documents you uploaded. I uploaded quite detailed PDFs and as you could see, it's only used 17 kilobytes out of our 33 megabyte allowance, meaning you can actually train it on quite a lot of data. And now that all of the data uploaded and processed by the AI agent, we are pretty much ready to go and can start testing out our agent. However, before we do that, let's go to the settings tab and actually customize it slightly. Here in the name field, you can actually give a name Name to your agent. So I just give it a name on our example startup and I'm going to click save. If you click on the AI tab here, you can actually change the model that powers your AI agent. As you can see, all of the popular models are available here and you can choose the one that you favor most. However, for our case, we're gonna leave it on mini. As it's a really fast model that still responds really well. In the instruction tab, you can actually prompt your AI agent on exactly how you want it to act. Here below, we give it some constraints to make sure that it doesn't go off topic and we gave it a role, just explaining what it does. If you wanna change this prompt, you can enter one manually, or if you click on the button here, you can actually change it to some of the examples that have been pre-written for you. For our case, I'm gonna choose customer support agent because that's what our agent will be. Down below, you can change the temperature. So this is how creative you want your agent to be. I want it to be quite creative, so I'm gonna leave it in the middle and press save. In the chat interface, you can customize it to make it look exactly how you want it on your website. I'm gonna change the theme to dark because our website is dark theme and I'm gonna upload a profile picture and I'm gonna upload a chat icon. I've also changed the user chat color to match our brand. Once I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm gonna press save once again. But now let's actually preview our chatbot and see how it functions. If you go to the playground tab, you can start testing out your chatbot. For example, I'm gonna ask about the pricing. And as you could see, it's pulled the info from the data that we trained on and responded with the relevant information. And let's ask another question about the actual product. I'm gonna ask what are the AI generated soundscapes and how are they created? So we asked the chatbot another question about the product and it gave us a highly detailed answer once again 
right from our documents. If the answers ever look off, you can click on activity and actually start adjusting them. So let's say we weren't happy with this answer. You could see the button here that we can click to improve the answer. So you could actually enter your own expected answer here and the chatbot will remember that next time this question is asked and try to respond in the manner that you set here. However, I'm quite happy that the responses, I think it provided the right information that the user was asking for. If you go back to the playground, you can actually compare different models. So if you click on this button here, we could actually compare it to how it would answer if a different model was used. So let's change the model to Claude Sonnet and ask it the same question. As you can see, you don't have to type it twice. If you type on one chat, it actually asks the question in both of them and you see the answers live. As you can see, mini model is way faster than the Claude Sonnet model, but the answers are slightly different. The structure on Sonnet is a bit nicer. However, as it's a bit slow, you probably wouldn't want to use it unless you're maybe using it for writing highly creative answers. You can always click the clear all chats button to start testing it once again. But I'm happy that the mini model as it's a lot faster so we're just going to go with that. If you're not happy with the persona that your chat assistant has, you can always go back to settings, go to AI and change this instruction section that I showed you earlier. But in our case, this chatbot is pretty much ready. It can already answer any kinds of question that the user might have about the product and help them decide whether it's for them or not. But the chat base, we can build more than just chatbots that just answer questions. We can actually give them some real powers. Beyond just answering FAQs, our AI agent can actually take actions. Chatbase makes it very easy to connect your agent to various tools and services so it can perform tasks for the user. Let's quickly take a look at what's possible. So back in the Chatbase dashboard, click on the actions tab. Here you'll be able to create your first actions. If you go down into the integrations page, you can actually see some of the available integrations. You've got Slack, Stripe, Canonly, Zendesk, and Sunshine. And if you go back to actions, we can actually see what our chatbot can do with these integrations. Click on create action. And here you can see some of the available actions. You can use Stripe integration to get the chatbot to be able to retrieve customers' invoices as well as subscriptions. For example, the customer can message the chatbot to ask about their subscription status. You can get that information and update it if they want to. Your chatbot can also collect leads. So for example, if they detect that the customer has high intent and they're very interested in the product, you can ask them to fill in more information and then notify you that you've just collected a hot lead. You can also do custom buttons. So for example, if a user asks for a specific action, you can get the chatbot to send them an, a button that takes them to do that. You can also do web search. You can also connect it to your calendars like cal.com and Canonly to actually send them a slot to be able to book an appointment with you. You can also connect it to Slack to get notifications in there as well as Zendesk to create tickets, Sunshine to connect to a live person and a few other things like customized messages and custom forms. Just picture how convenient this is for your customers. If you have an existing customer and they wanna update the subscription info, they don't have to search around your app. They can just message the chatbot and get exactly what they needed. Or if you have a new lead on the website that wants to book a call right now, they can talk to the chatbot, get a link, and then book an appointment right away. Chatbase can help you make more money and keep your existing customers happy. And the best part of it is that no coding is required. You just click connect on the apps that you want to to integrate, authorize them, and then Chatbase takes care of the rest. However, if you need something custom that Chatbase doesn't have, you can always click create action and create a custom action to execute your own API calls. This way, the possibilities of what your chatbot can do for you are absolutely limitless. For our example, I'll set up the Canonly action. I'm gonna click connect, authorize it, and that's pretty much it. Now, if I go to actions, I can click on create action, click on Calendly. I'm gonna give it a name, choose an event, and then define when the chatbot should use this action. So here it just says, use when the user mentions booking an appointment. I'm happy with the way it's set already, so I'm just gonna click on save. Now we won't be diving deeper into configuring each integration in this video. However, just know that these integrations are always there to power up your agent when you're ready, turning it from a simple FAQ bot into a true AI support agent that can actually get things done for your customers not just talk. Now our chatbot is trained, tested and powered up with actions. So let's now deploy it so our customers can start using it. Chatbase offers a few easy deployment options. If you go to connect, you will see this integration options. We first need to make our chatbot go public. Click on the button here. And here you're presented with two options. We can embed it as a chat bubble or we can embed it as an iframe. With the chat bubble, we can embed it in the bottom right as you can see here. Within iframe, we can embed it directly 
directly on the website. If you want to share it with your team members just to start testing it out, you can click on this share button as well. Or you can click on integrations and actually connect it to any of your social media accounts. You can connect Chatbase to WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, WordPress, Slack, Zapier and soon Shopify. So your users can chat to your agent anywhere. For our case, let's embed it as a chat bubble. I'm gonna copy the script here. And as my app is on Replit, I'm just gonna message the agent that integrating it there. Insert this code into HTML. And I'm just gonna tell it that it's a chat base integration. Click enter and there we have it. Our chatbot is now live on our website. If I click the button here, the chat will pop up. As you can see, it matches the color scheme of our website and we can start chatting with it here. I can ask it a question like, who is behind this startup? Amazing, it works, gives us relevant information. Let's see if the action works. I told you that I wanna book a call between nine and 11 a.m. We went into my calendar, found the available time slots as well as the dates, I'll say, Let's do July 3rd. Then it will ask me to specify the time. I'm gonna do 9 a.m. And then it gives me a schedule link, which I can click, enter my details and schedule the call. And that's how easy it is to integrate this chatbot to your website. You just take the script and add it to your website code before the body tag. You can easily do it in Webflow, Framer, WordPress. You usually just go to settings, go to custom code and then add it before the body tag. But there you have it. We built a fully functional AI support agent for our mock startup in just a few minutes. We went from uploading an FAQ document to chatting to the live bot that can answer questions for our users. And we even discussed how you can power it up further by adding custom actions. This AI agent can now help handle customer support inquiries freeing up your team to focus on tougher issues. Setting this up was quick, but the impact on your business would be huge. Faster answers for your customers and a lighter load for your support team. Remember, you can always extend your chat-based agent with more data or integrations as your business grows. If you found this helpful, I encourage you to try chat-based for yourself. In fact, you can sign up and create your own AI agent right now. No credit card needed. Give it a go and let us know what awesome support agents you build. Thank you for watching and happy building with Chatbase.